stop eating animals because it hurts them and it messes up Earth. But then I see a McDonald's and I want to eat burgers too. Hello. Oh man, we're live. Ooh, loser round one. Team Turnip versus Butt Clunchers. Oh man. Getting ready for some watch point Gibraltar action. Yeah. All right. Ooh, currently. I believe Butt Clunchers in blue. 
and Team Turnip, obviously with all the turnip, turnips, as their portraits on red. Let's see some sweet high ground action, especially in this first point for the defenders. See what can be taken, what can be given up. I'm excited, guys. Oh, huge gamut of games. We had some earlier, and we got two more up at 8 p.m. At the same time, I'll be streaming some, and so will Tachyon. So make your choice. Seems like we're just about ready. Eh. Oh. Looks like we're going to punch it in. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Arriving at watch point. In we go. Yeah. Sweet. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Tracist already complaining. What's new? Am I right? Ooh. Let's see. It looks like, ooh, turnips. Oh, looked like they were trying to go for a three tank already, but let's see what hero choices we got coming up today. Hmm. So far, turnips still going with the triple tank. Double support, who's their last hero choice? Butt clenchers. Mm, they could still go with the classic two, two, two that may be seems like the meta a lot of the professional leagues and it looks like they will go with that oh yeah i'm excited i've been missing all the games today and I finally get to get in this one but clenchers taking the high ground as is usual Team Turnip trying to peek out the window, see if they can spot whoever they got so they can maybe formulate their plans as best they can. Three seconds to go until those gate opens, and we are on our way to another best of three in the sub tournament for Moon Moon. This is the round one and extension for the losers bracket, so this is their first game on the losers bracket. And let's see. Who can be picked first? Looks like we got some stairs action going into the choke point. It looks like the Zarya tried to do some flanking actions on the side, but nothing really came of it. Payload still moving freely underneath. They got a see butt clenchers has to figure out when to drop down. It looks like they will. In comes Grumps with the Reaper action to try and stop those tanks. And there goes Tisk Tisk down by Broda, who is currently on the free. And Broda gets taken down by the other support. Hannah not having... Good job, Sarah. Sarah, I'm sorry. And in comes Vulcane with the Nano Booster Reinhardt. Takes down the Mercy and Zarya. And another charge by the Park enemy Reinhardt. Trying to take him down, but it seems like Tracist is coming in with an assist to save Vulcane. And that is a pretty clean, pretty clean first point, if I do say so myself. Now let's see if Butt Clenchers can get back together. See if I can take some high ground. We got a sneaky, sneaky little McCree in the back. Broda, he's got his high noon. Yes, he does. Let's see what he can do with it. He's the Mc it comes from behind, but then huh, the Dazzler takes it with her defensive matrix immediately. Grums get taken down by Tisk Tisk, but not before he can take down Tracist playing as Zarya. And of course, Broda getting taken down in the back lines, but there's not much help currently. Only three. Oh, and the Earth Shatter comes in from Volcane, takes down Simmon, who's on Mercy. And that is another point taken. Oh, in comes, in comes the Graviton Search from behind by Raven. Tisk Tisk gets, gets the uh, Transcendence off protect the teammates. Another nano boosted Reinhardt, who's also being damage boosted by the Kinghorn. And boy, Volcane is in a little bit of trouble from Heart. Hopefully, see if he can get picked off. Yes, he does. Alright. But Clunchers really needs to group back up and fight as a team. 
They've had some people trying to flank. Broda coming behind as a Reaper does not have his does not have his ultimate, but he's still behind. He's trying to do some flanks. Tries to get Tisk Tisk in the back. And it is unsuccessful. Kane turns around and takes out Broda. Diva getting charged. Raven getting knocked out of her mech by both of the enemy tanks. It's taken down. There's not many team fights going on by the bunk clusters. They are just coming in one by one in a bastion switch. Hello, Grumps. Uh-oh, in comes the self-destruct, which gets Bastion rip Grumps. And there is just no solid defense being put up by Buck Punchers right now. They need to fight together. There are very few picks being taken by Team Turnip. And it seems like finally a contested payload. We got him Broda switching to May to try and stop as many advances as they can. Have a damage boosted Reinhardt, or I'm sorry, damage boosted Bastion on the left side. And is trying to take down Bro Volcane, who is nano boosted, and does so. Seems like we finally have a haltage, and the May Wall comes up. May have blocked the other teammates, or other enemies from being earth shattered. Unfortunately, in comes Broda's Blizzard in the way back to grab both supports. A good pick by Broda. Oh, a little bit of tea bag. That's okay. All right. Seems like at this last last choke point, the clenchers have finally gotten a stop to that push. It finally stopped the momentum from team uh, from. Wait, team turnip. I'm sorry, team turnip stopped the push from butt clenchers, but in comes in comes butt clenchers again. I'm sorry, team turnip. Sorry, I'm sick in the head. My head. It comes the Earth Shatter by Volcane pushing through. Earth. Oh, everything's coming in, but only May is gotten by the Graviton Surge. Goes into her Ice Pole, but not, she does not get taken out. Self Destruct coming in, but gets no one. Shield stays up by Heart. It seems King Horde's going to get picked off by May. Earth Shatter comes in by Heart to try and clean up this push as best he can. Trace is still running around. Zarya almost full energy. Self Destruct by Raven gets no one. Seems that this push in Tisk Tisk gets the Transcendence to try and keep whatever push they have alive, and they're going to be coming through with a nano boosted Reinhardt again. But in comes a Blizzard by Broda to stop that in its tracks, literally. And back goes Volcane, so make sure he doesn't die. All right, Grump still in the back is Bastion, just firing away to try and take down that shield. And in comes Earth Shatter, grabs Heart, who gets slept. Discorded and kill Raven. Oh, and the res comes in. Let's see what else can be done. Grump still just shooting away. Takes down the Dazzler as Diva. Volcane taken down again by Grumps. Oh, uh oh, Bastion asleep. Oh, and there's the Graviton Surge with the May Wall to try and save him. Another Nano Boost from Reinhardt to come in to try and clean up any defense that is there. And that may be the round. Yep, looks like it. The charge by Volcane stops any contention. That is round one, folks. Three points, two minutes left. Ooh. Oh, man. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little sick. So is Tachyon. So we're, we're sick, sick buddies right now. <laughs> All right, new round. Any new comps are coming out? We got Grumps going on to Roadhog. I would hope he wouldn't be staying on Bastion for attack, but hey, you never know. It could work out. Seems like we have another 2-2. Two, two. Oh, no. Three tank strat for both teams? Seems like it. Yes, indeed. Oh, three... Three tank, three support. The trace is sad. Let's see how Team Turnip will take the defense. I would assume they'd be taking the high ground. It looks like he will be setting up there. But Clenchers looking out the window, as always, to figure out what they're up against. I need healing! Right. 
Everyone's still hiding behind their walls. Don't want to give away their positions and their heroes. Let's see. Another 2-2-2 two, two, two meta. Meta set up by Buck Clenchers. Let's see how their push will go if they can keep their momentum going throughout the entire map. Like Team Turnip did until the very last section. High ground has taken, remember they have the triple support, triple tank, just see how they do on the DPS side of things. And it looks like they'll be holding back to try and drop down to make sure that payload doesn't go too far, which is a good choice. The round before, butt clenchers didn't drop down for quite a while, so that payload did get some distance, and it may have hurt him in the end. All right, it looks like they're just trying to hold back still and find the best optimal time to try and contend that payload. Dazzler up on top, but getting flanked by Brodo. Traces looks like at full power. And just going away at the shield, there goes Heart's shield. In comes Volcane with the nano boosted Reinhardt. Tries to push him back. Brodo coming back at Tisk, 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 and there goes down Tisk, Tisk. A nice little flank to take out a support, which currently Team Turnip is heavy on. All right, Butt Clenchers coming in, trying to group up again. Let's see what the push will be like. No one currently has high ground. Doesn't look look like anyone's going for a flank at all. Tisk Tisk has rejoined the group to defend. In comes a Graviton Surge in the back to see if anything will come through to see if we can get some good picks. Looks like not nano boosted, but Soldier 76 comes out with a with his uh, ultimate, but doesn't seem to be getting anyone. Oh, it does get traces in the end. In comes a Res, Viking Horn, and Tisk Tisk's. <laughs> Looks like Tisk Tisk was Tisk Tisk was getting damage boosted while his transcendence was going on. But uh, hey man, it's whatever you want. Looks like Broda sneaking in on the side broom. Just chilling there with his ultimate. He's waiting for a good time. For maybe someone to push in and carry distraction. No, he comes out anyway, see if he can grab anyone, but gives away his position. Now he's getting chased by the Dazzler in the other side room. In comes another slow, hopefully strong push from Buck Clenchers. They've had this point contested for quite a while now. In comes Volcane again. They like that damage boosted Reinhardt, or the nano boosted Reinhardt, with a shield, trying to take down Heart. Heart still just barely holding on and gets taken down in the end. But Broda, in the meantime, took out Tisk Tisk again. In comes Broda, as is with his ultimate, but gets slept, shielded, and defense matrix all at the same time, so nothing came from his ultimate. Tracist going for Raven, takes him down. It seems like a pretty solid hold again from Team Turner. Ooh, heart taken down by the Dazzler self-destruct. So 45 seconds left, a push needs to be made now because there's still a fair bit of distance to get through and they still have to win their team fight. King Horn with the res on Team Turner. So they need to take down that Mercy first thing and work their way through. But in comes the Nano Boost from Cero onto Volcane once again. Charged, but Tisk Tisk with the Tranquility coming to save Volcane. In comes the Nano Boost and Wetburn as Diva. Let's see if any picks can be gotten. No one has died yet, surprisingly enough, but it seems like this push is getting separated. Team Turnip taking the team, taking Butt Punches and splitting them in half. But it seems West Wetburns goes down the back. Tis Traces takes him down. But Trace is still at full power. Kinghorn still with the res hiding in the back. Here comes the Earth Shatter. They need to find that Mercy to get her down right away. Broda gets slept trying to go for the Mercy. Overtime is still going. Traces gets rezzed. In comes the Graviton Surge. Everyone needs to stay alive as best they can. It does not seem that will be GG. And it looks like Team Turnip will take this first map. Wetburn trying to hold on as best they can. Uh, but in comes Self-Destruct and the entire team just hitting on her. Ooh, boy. 
So. Final score. Zero to three. Fairly strong defense from Team Turnip. They they realized that they, their high ground position in the beginning was not the best. They were not getting enough DPS because they had the three support, three tank. So they needed to get in closer. So they decided to drop down in the back uh, to try and contest that payload, especially going underneath there. And that definitely served them well in the end. Volcane coming in with the good charges to play the game. This is at the very end. That Earth Shatter probably shut down that entire push. Oof. It seems like overall Team Turnip had the better team fights. Especially attacking. Oh, can we get a legendary eight upvotes? But not quite there. All right. That's the uh, that's one map down. Best of three, so let's see if Butt Clenchers can take the next map, whatever it may be. No oh boy. See what their choice will be. Oh, looks like we had some subs, and it looks like they're discussing who to bring in or possibly drop. But it looks like they're going to be keeping their sub. Yeah. Just as a quick reminder, after this game, 8 p.m., we have two games going on. I believe it would be 8 p.m. Cock Club versus Blue Eyes White Privilege. I believe I will be streaming that. And 8 p.m. as well is No Weebs versus Booty Boys. And if I'm not mistaken, Tachyon should be streaming that one. So uh, make your choice on what to watch. Uh, okay, let's see. Looks like they're still discussing teammates and whatnot. But hey, thanks for joining us today. Had many, many games, three games already today. This is our fourth, and we'll have a total of six after this day goes out. And it uh, looks like we're about ready to get into some Numbani action. And uh, let's see, another game tomorrow, looks like 10.30 p.m. This is all Eastern Standard Time, by the way. This guy is on a buffalo versus sad boys. So if you're up by then, EU folks, that'll be quite late for you. Um, even for the working folk in the NA regions, that could be quite late. But hey, 10.30, guys on a buffalo versus sad I boys tomorrow. To in we go. Numbani. Ooh, I'm surprised no Hollywood choice. We haven't had a Hollywood pick in a long time. That's a fairly popular map in tournaments, but hey, we're on Numbani. Let's see what will be uh, class selections will be taken. Looks like another we're going to repeat Team Turnip, I believe, will be repeating their 3-3 uh, their three, three choice, the 3 support, 3 tank. Ooh, Grumps. Going with the Bastion action. Indeed, indeed. On attack. Maybe it's just, you know, he's sitting in spawn having fun, but hey. Looks like, what do we got? 1, 2, yeah, almost a 2-2-2, two, 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 but of course the Bastion kind of throws that off. Yeah. Let's shoot for a new high score. Sorrow doing their duty, knocking away all those fences. Those annoying, annoying fences. It looks like high ground will be taken. Ooh, Volcane doing a little spin ruse as Reinhardt. Take a deep now, let's our 
Team Turnip on the defense. And it looks like Butt Clenchers will go up to the choke point that is the usual attack strategy for all tournaments. And wow, a sleep dart going right out hitting Volcano, I believe. And they're already past that choke point, which is the door, and they're already out. Volcano swinging along with Heart, trying to get him to kill each other. Heart really low in health, but looks like he's getting healed right back up. Rump's taken down as Bastion. And that's two Heart coming down and Broda. Seems like three down. We'll have to regroup and try potentially a different avenue of attack. Or maybe they'll just try and poke at this this uh this doorway again. Grump switching off Bastion onto some Roadhog ac action. Simmon already with the res. Just in case anything goes wrong. Wetburn's almost with the justice rings from above. Let's see if any little flankery doodahs can be uh, happened by Wetburn's. Looks like they tried to. But the Dazzler keeping an eye on the side. Keeping Wetburn's at bay. In goes back at the choke point. Volcane with the Earth Shatter to take down practically the entire team. Down goes Mercy for any potential res, but it was best they held on to it. They just conceded that fight, which is a good choice. Because everyone's building up ultimates. And it seems that Buck Clenchers will have the ultimate advantage coming into this next team fight, wherever it may be. It looks like they're going mid. They're a little tentative of where to go. Mid, maybe. Raven all alone. They're not sure they want to go inside, outside. In comes the self-destruct. Heart blocks it with the shield right away. In comes the Graviton Surge. Let's see if any follow-up can be taken. Heart coming in with the great with the rage nano boost. Rock. Oh, there goes Justice by Wetburn. Grabs the Mercy. That is a good pick. And this is three down from Team Turnip. And that may be the first point grabbed by Butt Clenchers after they drop five of their ults, I believe. Simmons still... still keeping the... Uh, still keeping the res in his back pocket. So there we go. First point taken. Three minutes, 40 seconds left. And off we go to the rest of Numbani. There have been no... no hero changes yet. Still... Uh, Team Turnip still running the three support, three tank. They're feeling quite confident that they can hold it with that. Although they have to take care of, they have to possibly get someone to take care of a Pharah. They don't have any hit scan people right now. I guess Broda would be, or I'm sorry, Sorrow would be the person to hold onto that. But in comes Volcane, nano boosted, and takes off the edge. Dies in the process. Simon running back, trying not to get picked. Saved, but this push will go down, seems like, for the time being. Grumps pulls in Bedazzler, but Bedazzler just getting healed like no tomorrow, currently. Here comes another push. Heart being nano boosted. In comes a self destruct to try and. Oh, oh and down goes Simon. There's no revive available. Grota goes down from Traces. Currently a 6v4. Grumps trying to push everyone back with his. Uh, with his ultimate as Roadhog. Heart swinging away at the Dazzler. But it seems like for the time being, though, we have to back off just slightly. In comes Volcane. They're thinking, not today. Oh, but the 4k Earth Shatter. Wetburn's coming in to take down three of them. That is a nice little wombo combo. Simmon with the revive just to guarantee their push. Grumps with a little bit of BM at the very end. Just to put the cherry on the cake. My my. So we got some quite strong pushes from from uh, butt clenchers. So yeah, where was this last round, guys? What the heck? All right, now for the the last push, the little S, the snake that they have to get through. And they have to keep pushing. Let's see, tisk tisk. And Kinghorn both have their ultimates. Currently, no one on Butt Clutchers. 
will have their ultimates part close at almost 90% for his Earth Shatter. Grumps almost at 90% as well for a whole hog. Sorrow up top trying to do some sneaky sleeping on heart, but Bedazzler coming in as well out of her mech on the point, but gets taken down. Heroes Grumps coming in with, the, with his ultimate, but whatever work he did is immediately nullified by Kinghorn, but look out for Hart in the back being nano boosted, keeping his shield up. Tries to get in the Earth Shatter, but Trace is blocking themselves. Kinghorn is, looks like he'd be taken out. Oh, Hart trying to go in for the charge, but goes right through the entire group in the back, and that will be good push. Hart should try and die as quick as he can to try and not... All right, there he goes. All right, they still have two minutes left. I would say... Mm, maybe two really good... Two strong pushes as much as they have at this point. So they have to really... They really have to think to manage their ultimates and take smart team fights. But up top, Sorrow and Wetburns having a little one would be one. Wetburns gets slept and eventually taken down by Sorrow. Heart. Oh, in comes Traces. And here comes the Wombo Combo from Kraftan Surge. There it is to the self-destruct by Bedazzler. A nice little four piece. Traces kneeling on the death of her enemies. I like a little BM from time to time. Wetburn's still up in the top with her ultimate, trying to figure out a way to sneakily get above them and ultimate. It looks like they may be waiting for a little, uh, maybe if maybe waiting for Raven's Graviton Surge, but only at 60%. Heart with the, <coughs> excuse me, Earth Shatter going out on payload. Trying to take down anyone. Doesn't seem like to be hitting anyone. Volcane coming, retaliating. There comes Wetburns. Justice rains from above, but only gets actually no one. Tistix coming in with the oh, coming in with the uh, the super heal Zumiata. Everything's going on. I can't keep up. Ugh. But it looks like so far this team fight, butt punches are having their way. The Dazzler gets taken down by Wetburns from up top. No one's been taken down this Pharah while she's been in the air. And that might be a good enough push. Only 15 seconds left. Oh, but a three-piece res coming in from Kinghorn. That is a Graviton Surge by Raven to try and take down anyone else who's caught in there. Volcane still swinging away wildly. They're staying away from the payload. Only Volcane on there. Earth Shatter comes out, but charges everyone away, surprisingly enough. Rota hiding to keep the overtime going. Oh, but in comes the Graviton Surge, and they need to keep that overtime going on the payload. And Team Turnip just filing in one by one to, to stop them as best they can. Tisk Tisk with the zoom yachting all over the place. There's oddly enough, no one's okay. There's a pick finally. Still contested. This is a long overtime. If a if Halo gets left at this point, that will end immediately. It's going down, they're going down, and there it is. The Dazzler again. With another great self-destruct on the point. Takes down any chance of extending that overtime. Ooh, only a few meters shy of getting that third point. Ooh. That was a good, good momentum based push from butt clenches. They needed that last round. But it seems like they found something that worked for them. And now they need to switch mindsets, get into their defensive modes. See if they can pull out something, something good. Cause <laughs> and that something good may be. Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong. T I was looking at Bastion pick by Tisk Tisk and the Torb by Kinghorn, but they're on attack, and oh my. Wouldn't that be a nice little quick play moment right there? And <laughs> some Metra on Traces. Or, I'm sorry, Traces on Symmetra. But, uh, Tisk Tisk, oh no. Go ham on that door. What did that door do to you, man? Alrighty, alrighty. Looks like we got 
on butt clenchers. Three tanks, two support, and one assault. Got a soldier pick for the first time, I believe, in this matchup between the two teams. I think we had a, well, we had a soldier briefly on Gibraltar, but it did not last. Let's see if, what the actual, well, maybe this will be the actual choices by Team Turnip. I hope it is. Oh, oh, there goes, uh, there goes Torb. Off to Lucio. And there goes Tisk, 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 Tisk. That name, though. Back on to Zumiata. And they're going again. Three tanks, three support. Dropping the mercy for Lucio. And they're going to be... I wonder if they'll be speed boosting right through the defenses into the door. Let's we'll see what their choice will be. Looks like they'll be... Temp oh, and there, there they come out of the door. Amber swinging wildly. Heart going in, trying to have health almost with the Earth Shatter already. Volcane takes down Simon as Soldier. Grunk's taking down Sorrow. Here comes the Earth Shatter from Heart. Takes down two support. Or I'm sorry, Traces and Kinghorn. But it looks like Butt Clenchers will hold the point. Pretty good. I mean, they only lost, what, two people from that fight? I'm even yeah. Stronger. Simon already back. I believe that's how you pronounce the name S I M N Simon Cinnamon Cinnamon I'll call it Cinnamon there you go that's your new name now <laughs> oh and instead of going up top team turnip trying to take the bottom left route try and get on the point volcano going out almost by himself Kinghorn everyone's kind of folding back but it down goes Broda so there's no res available and there goes weapons and Zarya Simon taken down as well by Volcane Volcane going ham on heart De Raven will go down, get chased down by a very angry man, a very angry glowing man with a hammer. And, uh, oh, and Grump's going with a stall, believe it or not. Seems like he's trying to hold on as long as he can. Grump's doing his best, but cannot hold on to the points. And it seems like, oh, and out goes, oh. It seems like Raven may have stopped the Graviton Surge. Or maybe it was Bedazzo. No, Bedazzo didn't have a thing out, but... A Graviton Surge does get taken out by a defensive matrix somewhere. So, Shield gets taken out by Heart. He slept, Discord Orb, his shield's about to go down, and he gets taken out by Bedazzo. Pushing forward, slowly but steadily. Here comes a self-destruct by Raven to see if he can pick off anyone. Everyone hiding around the corner or behind Volcane's shield. But no one gets taken out. Graviton Surge gets, gets thrown out by Webburn, but both ultimates get dropped. Support ultimates, that is. Broda coming in, flying from the flank to try and get back with their team. Their team. But the rest does get out before they get taken down. Raven still in the back, out of her mech, fighting the Lucio. A little one-on-one -on -one action. Heart charging Tracist into the wall, taking Tracist down. Just a few more meters to grab this next checkpoint. Still with three minutes, three seconds to go. Here comes a self-destruct from Bedazzler. Takes down what burns, surprisingly enough, in the chaos. Heart still holding strong right on the front lines. Shield goes down. Let's see if anything can come. Volcane does has his Earth Shatter, but he's still in the back. Same with Traces with Graviton Surge. And they have just arrived on the front lines. Tactical Visor coming out from Cinnamon. He's got he's got a disc orb on, him, orb on him, so he's standing back just a bit. Butt clenchers trying to hold on to this point as best they can. Grumps with the transcendence to save the team for the time being. In comes <laughs> in comes Earth Shatter. Volcane takes down Cinnamon. The retaliatory tisk tisk zoomiata. That is three picks. Mercy down, no reds. Down goes heart. And forward they push. Four minutes to get around this S curve. That is the final points of Numbani. Traces jumping out front, trying to get as much charge as they can on their shields. Let's see what type of defense will come up in the last few meters that come up. Volcane coming out. Oh, but Webburn's not before again. Earth Shatter throws down her Graviton Surge, but no help comes from it. Traces takes down Heart. Webburns takes down Sorrow, actually. Raven calling in her mech, bumping back Volcane just a bit. Bedazzler taking down Mercy. No res available. Grumps down. 
Simmon down, Wetburn's down, Dad's Raven's down, and that is my my. That I believe is a 2-0 from Team Turnip with a nice last push of just taking down the enemy team one by one by one. A fantastic game, Numbani. A much closer game than. Uh, Watch point your bolter, but congratulations to team tournament or team tournament. Uh, uh, team turn up as they advance on to the loose brackets. And here's the huge five piece earth shatter by Volcane taking down practically the entire team. And I believe that would be butt clenchers are knocked out of the tournament because this is the losers bracket. Uh, let's That's double check. Like yeah, it. I believe so. Butt clenchers are knocked out. Team Turnip go on to face Booty in the round two of the loser's bracket. Fun games today. I thank you. Oh, Cinnamon is actually correct. Thank you. All right. Thanks for in chat. But hey, thanks for joining us today, guys. Got more games in just about an hour, I believe. I don't have the time on me, but hey, 8 p.m., hour and a half, 8 p.m., match on Tachyon's channel, match on my channel, make your choice, and we'll see you there. Thanks for joining us.